Alright, hey, hey, it's Mega here, and my Super Cub has finally hit 4,000 miles, and so I finally got to do some kind of sort of major maintenance on it, is what I want to say, alright? I've got to change the oil, alright? So I've hit 4,000 miles. The oil was changed at 600 miles by the previous owner, and then now I'm going to do it at 4,000 miles, alright? We'll go over the oil change intervals and what kind of oil you're going to need and all that good stuff. I've got the uh, 2020 Honda Super Cub. Um, owner's manual here for reference, okay, and then I've got the service manual, all right, so we'll kind of both look at both of them. If there's some funny stuff inside the the owner's manual, <laughs> we'll see, okay. All right, so yeah, we'll go we'll go over in the manual, but this is the oil I'm going to use, all right. It's a Lucas motorcycle oil. It's a synthetic 10W30 oil, all right. Um, why are you using this oil, Hades Omega? Well, I used to have a 2016 Victory Impulse TT electric motorcycle and that had a, uh, a manual transmission, all right? It had a manual transmission but an electric motor, so it still had a gearbox. So this is the oil that they use in the gearbox, 10W30. 10W30 is an odd oil weight, okay? Um, automobiles, it's, it's pretty, pretty common oil, okay? A lot of my, like, my Mitsubishi cars use it but I don't know of any motorcycle that, that calls for 10W30 other than the Impulse TT, okay? <laughs> it's, it's a weird motorcycle oil size. And, and I know Lucas is only one of the only brands that sells this. So I, after I run out of this stuff, I might just go to Honda and get oil for it, okay? It's so, um, and why not use a, synth why use a synthetic oil? Well, because it's, it's, a, it's a little engine that works hard and I don't, I'm pretty sure we don't have to put a lot of oil in it and you know the, since the maintenance is so low on this machine and it consumes so little gas, I'll treat it to some good oil, okay? Ace Mega puts just regular oil in all his bikes, all right? Um, okay, so yeah, and this, this says it's formulated for wet clutches. That's what you want for, um, for motorcycles, right? That's the difference between motorcycle oil and regular automobile oil is you have a clutch, all right? Um, the uh, the Super Cub has a clutch, okay? Um, it's, a, it's, it's different than other motorcycle clutches, but it still has a clutch, all right? So, so you have to use a motorcycle oil, all right? So this is what I use. I think I, I, you can get this at AutoZone and you can get it at uh, O'Reilly's, okay? I think I got this at O'Reilly's. For some reason, they have a 20W50. I don't know what motorcycle uses that oil. Probably a Harley Davidson, <laughs> so I guess, okay? All right. Okay, so uh, let's go. Let's go take a look at the manual real quick, and then we'll go do this oil change. All right. Um, so uh, Hades and Meg. So this video, I'm only going to change the oil. All right. We're not going to clean the the oil filter screen or anything like that. It it doesn't the uh, it doesn't call for that for this maintenance. All right. So Hades and Meg is not going to cover that. Maybe we will in another video. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention you're going to need something to catch oil with. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, whether I can put that underneath my bike or not, I'm not sure, okay? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so first we'll go take a look at the Honda Super Cub owner's manual, all right, for the 2020 Super Cub. Okay, so here's the maintenance intervals, uh, or maintenance schedule for the Honda Super Cub. So at 4,000 miles, really the only thing you gotta replace is the engine oil, okay? The crankcase breather, we gotta clean, so I might shoot a video about that, all right? I think that's pretty easy. All right, everything else is inspect. Okay, so so that's the reason why we're gonna do the engine oil first. Okay, because that's something you have to do: change the oil at 4,000 miles, and then uh, then after 8,000, 12,000. So it seems like it's got 4,000 mile intervals. This bike. Okay. All right. So we want we've gone over the the oil change intervals. Okay. So. This is the part about engine oil. Engine oil consumption varies and quality deteriorates according to riding conditions and time elapsed. All right, check the engine oil level regularly and add recommended engine oil if necessary. Dirty oil or old oil should be changed as soon as possible. Okay, so um, selecting the right engine oil. All right, if you use non-Honda engine oil, check the label to make sure that the oil satisfies all the following standards. All right, so here we go. Um, JASO T903 standard, MA, SAE standard, 10W30, and API classification, classification SG or higher. Okay, so here we go. 10W30, JASO, all right, 9, 903, MA, it says MA, okay. 
so that should be good it says meets or exceeds all right and an api sg or higher okay that I, i'd imagine sm sl and sg sj are higher than sg okay this the, the letters are not higher in the alphabet that's what i say okay okay so there you go okay so just in case you're wondering if you don't know how to check the oil level on your bike where this is going to come in handy when we change it, when we fill it up with oil anyways um you got to make sure it's on the, the center stand all right and we probably want to make sure this window is clean let me get a nap okay let me just clean the window here a little bit Okay, so you're going to want to make sure your bike is on a level surface on the center stand. Okay, it's, I know it's barely on the wood. I just probably put it on. Okay, and then we're checking the oil level. All right, and it looks like we're on the top of the window, so we're good. And it does look like it's kind of dirty. So that should be good. We're at the top. So I've this, guy, this guy's gone for about 4,000 miles and hasn't needed a drop of oil since I've owned it. Okay, so very good. All right. That engine is running in tip-top condition, even though Hades Mega beats the crap out of it every day. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're uh, we're gonna read through the engine oil, change the engine oil. Okay. I know Hades Mega is taking baby steps here, but you can do it by the book. All right. So it's just changing engine oil here. So we're gonna go through each of the steps, and then we're gonna go through each of the steps in this book. All right. And then uh, and then we're gonna go do it. Okay. okay? So here's some funny so, stuff. Right? The the funny stuff in the manual that I told you, was gonna tell you about. All right. So this is changing engine oil. All right, changing the oil requires special tools. We recommend that you have your vehicle serviced by your dealer, okay? <laughs> so if you don't know Jack about, you know, automobiles or motorcycles, then it's you're probably best to hire a mechanic, all right? Or you can watch my video and you can do it yourself, all right? <laughs> all right, so the first step, if the engine is cold, idle the engine for three to five minutes, okay? Number two, turn the ignition switch to off position and wait two to three minutes, okay? So it should take, you're about like 10 minutes into it already, all right? Um, place your vehicle on its center stand on a firm level surface, okay? Um, place a drain pan under the drain bolt, remove the oil fill cap, drain bolt, and ceiling washer to drain the oil, all right? Discard the oil at an improved recycling center. All right, Havies Mega is gonna do uh, curbside delivery. Here it has a little diagram, very nice. It tells you where the drain bolt is right there, all right? And, and obviously, you need a gasket that's a ceiling washer it's going to come out when you take the bolt all right install a new ceiling washer onto the drain bolt hey this mega is not going to do that we're going to reuse the old one <laughs> tighten the drain bolt all right and then the torque is 18 foot pounds all right fill the crankcase with the recommended oil and install the oil fill cap all right required oil when changing oil 0.8 us quarts all right so we're going to use most of this, all right, most of it, all right, not not all of it, but most of it. And then we'll have a little bit for top off later, so that's good. <laughs> um, check the oil level, and then check that there are no oil leaks, okay? And then, then that's it, okay? Pretty simple, right? And so all we have to do is change the oil, all right? This uh, this motorcycle doesn't have a oil filter. It, it does have an oil filter, but you don't have to take it out and replace it. Or an, it's not like it's not like a you know like the DR650. You don't have to replace the engine oil filter. Um, it's got an oil filter screen that you need to clean. But after 4,000 miles, you don't need to do that. Okay. Okay. So this is the maintenance schedule in the service manual, and it says that you need to replace the engine oil every at uh, 600 miles. All right. 0.6 times 1,000 miles, all right? If you do the math, that's 600 miles, okay? Um, you've got to re replace it at 4,000, 8,000, 12,000, 6,000, 20,000, and 24,000, okay? Um, now the screen, so the oil strainer screen, all right, for future reference, all right, you've got to clean it at 8,000 miles. So the next time that we change oil, we got to clean it, uh, the, str the, the oil strainer and the oil centrifugal filter, okay? But we don't have to do that this time, so Hades Mega is not going to do it. All right, so in this video, we're just going to replace oil. When I when I do do that, I will make a video about it. Okay, all right, got it. Good. Okay, this shows you how to check the oil levels and everything. Very nice. All right, it goes over the the oil 10W30, JSO T903 standard MA. Okay, that's the kind of oil that you'll need. Um, when in doubt. Just go to your motorcycle dealer and ask them, hey, I need oil for a Super Cup. Okay, uh, oil change. All right, here we go. Support the vehicle. Okay, this one doesn't even have the numbers on it. 
all right support the vehicle with its center stand on a level surface warm up the engine so it's a little bit different than the than the owner's manual but i don't think it matters that much okay stop the engine and remove the oil filler cap remove the oil drain bolt and sealing washer to drain the engine oil after draining the oil completely install the drain bolt with a new sealing washer okay tighten the drain bolt to the specified torque and it was 18 foot pounds okay that's what we're going to use fill the crankcase with the recommended engine oil okay check that the oil on the filler cap is in good condition oh that wasn't on the that wasn't in the owner's manual apply engine oil to the o-ring okay i don't know why you had to do that it's already probably got oil in it if you didn't replace it okay if you replace it you have to put oil on the o-ring okay install the filler cap check the oil level then make sure there are no leaks and then that's it okay and then here is a little diagram an even better diagram of the drain bolt okay it says new we want you to replace that that washer but hades mega is not all right maybe hades mega will go to my honda dealership and i will say hey i need get me a pack of oil changing wash or drain plug washers okay <laughs> but but for this i don't have one okay so that's why we're not going to do it okay so uh since Hayes Omega feels that the uh, the owner's manual was a little bit more descriptive, it was kind of more, they kind of dumbed it. I'm not going to, I don't want to say it, but they kind of dumbed it down. We're going to go through by the owner's manual, okay? Both are good, all right? I just felt like the uh, the service manual, the service manual, the service manual was kind of tailored more to technicians, and the owner's manual was obviously, it's tailored more to owners, all right? And obviously, you know, I don't think that, they, most people that own Super Cubs, you know, know how to wrench on their Super Cub. I don't know. It's, it's a, but maybe that's what they're thinking. Okay, so we're going to go off of the owner's manual. It's literally the same thing, go, guys. Okay. All right, here's my go. Okay, so the first step in the manual mentions that if the engine is cold, you're going to want to warm the engine up for three to five minutes. So we'll warm it up for five minutes. All right, the engine is cold right now. Okay, so I got my key right here. All right. If you own a Super Cub, you should know how to fire it up, okay? So we're going to fire it up. Oops. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to run it for five minutes, all right? So I got my timer here set for five minutes, all right? So when that beeps, we'll come back, all right? Anyway, I'll see, anyway, I'll see you guys in five minutes. <laughs> It's funny, I, I, I put my phone on the Super Cub and it's like moving. It vibrates so much sometimes. <laughs> look at that, look at that. It's going to fall off soon. All right, let me get, let me take that off before it does fall off. Okay, we got four more minutes. All right, also make sure if you're doing this uh, in a garage, you open the garage door at least, okay? Uh, it would probably be better if I took the bike outside. All right, so you wouldn't be in, inhaling all the exhaust fumes. <laughs> okay, all right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five minutes. I could barely hear that. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna give it a couple revs for good luck. Okay, five minutes are up. We're gonna switch the bike off. Why okay, if you don't have the key like on that? you, when you come back and turn it off, it'll do it'll do a beeping like that. Okay, so annoying. <laughs> that's, that's the first time I've seen that happen before. That's fine, because usually I have the key on me when I'm operating the bike. So, Okay, um, so now it says we're going to wait two to three minutes, all right, to let it cool down. Uh, we got to heat it up, then cool it down, right? So we're going to set the timer for three minutes, all right? And then after three minutes, that's when we're going to drain the oil, Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you're going to need a 17 millimeter socket. I would suggest a socket, okay? Um, you could probably, if you can get a wrench in there, go for it. But I'm going to use this kind of small breaker bar, okay? And then you're probably going to want to wear some gloves, all right? Huh, that's interesting. A bunch of water came out, condensation came out of the exhaust. That's interesting. There's a little weep hole for it right here. Yeah, there's like a little hole in the exhaust. And all the condensation that comes out of the exhaust comes out the ground there. It's interesting. <laughs> Never seen that before either. Thought it was oil. It was like, no, it's water. It's condensation. I don't normally let my bike warm up in the garage. Okay. Guys. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Wait time over. All right, so now we're gonna go drain the oil, all right? So what I suggest you do, all right, is make sure you get your oil drain dealy ready, all right? Make sure it fits underneath there, should be fine. So it fits underneath there, but there's not enough room for me it would be kind of hard for me to get a tool in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the nut first and then put the drain um, pan under it, okay? So, okay, if you're wondering where the drain plug is, it's right here, okay? You'll see this little, like a little guard for it right here, and then the, bo the bolt is right here, okay? So, okay, so Hayes Omega is going to go ahead and loosen it with the 17 millimeter wrench. Okay, here it is from the other side view. All right, um... It's right here, okay? Right there. Okay, and careful, the exhaust is right here. I just touched it, it was hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna loosen right. it first. Okay? Right under here, I got my ratchet. I highly suggest you use a socket instead. Whoop. This is not a... It's on. My socket barely fits in there. <laughs> I don't know why, but my socket barely fits in there. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, make sure your bike doesn't fall on you, for one thing. I can feel my... Ow, okay, ow. Okay, I've loosened it. Now it's stuck on it. There we go, okay. All right, so it should be loose enough where I can take it off my hand. I'm gonna put my drain pan under it. Oh, 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 wait, I missed a step, I missed a step. The next Hold step on. was to place <laughs> a drain pan under the drain bolt, all right? And then the next step is to remove the oil filler cap, all right? So go ahead and remove the full oil filler cap. That's so, you know, there, like, there won't be like a suction or there's like, you can, you have some ventilation in there, okay? Okay, that out. The O-ring came out with it, by the way. All right, so make sure you don't lose that. There's the cap. Okay. Okay, and then now it's time to remove the drain fill bolt, all right? So you saw I used the 17 millimeter to loosen it earlier. All right, I'm gonna go put a glove on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil drain bolt. All right, preferably you wanna do it where the camera's at right now, but I, it's, it's be, I get a better shot if I do it from here, okay? Let me burn my hand with the oil engine on it if it's really hot, okay. Pretty long bolt. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Pretty dirty. Okay, there is a, it is a magnetic drain bolt, so I will, it doesn't tell you to clean it, but I will. Okay, there it is. Pretty dirty. It didn't look too dirty in the window, but it, it is pretty dirty. It's not a lot coming out either. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let that drain for about five, 10 minutes, then we'll come back and we'll plug it okay, up. So okay, so what we're gonna do in the meantime, while uh, while the oil is, is, is fully draining out of the engine, here is the drain bolt. Wow, what is this, man? This is a big chunk of something. No, it's like a gasket material. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's like, it's like a kind of like gasket material. I wonder what that is. That's interesting. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, there's some weird stuff floating around in the engine. Uh, let me get some more light on this. So there's our uh, drain bolt right there, all right? So as you can see, there's a lot of metal particles in it, all right? Not good. Well, it's not good, but the engine is breaking in, all right? And that's that's the reason why you got to change the oil at like 600 miles first, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe this uh, this bolt onto this napkin, okay? And just do your best to get all the metal particles out of it. Okay, and then there, there you see, now it looks like a normal magnet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, okay? We're gonna continue cleaning this. Sorry, I'm trying to get some light on it, man. <laughs> it's not cooperating, guys. All right, but anyway, just clean it. Clean out all the metal flakes from it, all right? Just make sure there's no metal flakes, because this is basically your oil filter right here, guys. 
All right, clean the threads out. Okay. okay I put it back where the, uh, <laughs> I put it where that big wad of uh, metal flakes were. <laughs> so it came back on it. All right, so what I'm doing is using my fingernail to kind of clean it. What you might want to do is get some compressed air and blow the rest off. All right, but it looks pretty clean now. Okay. And kind of clean the gasket sealing surface. All right, so the sealing washer is right here, okay, guys? It's right here. Okay, I can take it out. It's right there. Make sure you don't lose that, okay? And if you're replacing it, this now is the time to replace it, okay? But it looks fine to me. I'm okay, not gonna replace it. Okay, so that's it. nice and clean. I'm just gonna let that drain for a few more minutes, and then we'll clean out the uh, the drain hole, and then uh, put the plug back in. Okay, guys, it has dawned on me that I don't know if this is uh, if this is a stock drain plug. Okay, guys. Uh, the previous owner may have put this, all right, because it says, it doesn't say like it's a Honda. It says it's gold plug on it, MP01, all right? So um, your bike may not have this, okay? I'm not 100%, but this is a magnetic drain plug. Basically, it's a drain plug with a little magnet put on it, and, um, and it, that's what it does. It catches uh, metal particles. It keeps it from floating around in your engine more, okay? Um, so if, if you guys... If you guys are watching this video and you change your oil, let me know if this is a if this is a, a stock item. All right, this came with the bike, a magnetic drain plug. Okay, uh, it, it dawned on me that hey, maybe uh, somebody else had changed the, the oil on this bike previously, so maybe they put one of these on it. All right, so I'm not 100%, but it's good that they have it. All right, this uh, I, I since this bike doesn't have like a kind of like a real oil filter. Um, this is your next best defense right here. Okay, okay. All right. so when you feel you, it's uh, sufficiently drained, I wait like another 10 minutes, okay? It's still dripping, guys. <laughs> but, uh, I don't got all night, so I'm just gonna go do this. All right. So go get a napkin and then wipe the surface clean, as clean as you can, and then put the drain plug back in, all right? I think he's gonna try his best. All right, so wipe the surface clean, okay? And I'm going to try to put the drain plug back in. Good thing the exhaust is not that hot anymore. Okay. I'm going to screw the, the drain plug in hand tight first. It is a really, there's really not a lot of space to work with, guys. If you got like a, a big kind of big drain pan like this. Okay, so once it's in there hand tight, you can take the uh, drain pan out. Okay. Now you're gonna have plenty of room to work with. Just wipe it down as best as you can, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go get my tool. Take my glove off. We're gonna just snug it just a teeny bit because we're gonna go torque it, okay? Okay, I've got my torque wrench here, all right? Okay, I've got it set for 18 foot-pounds, all right? That's what the manual said to do, all right? There we go. Now I got plenty of room to work with. That's it. Okay, one more time for good luck. Okay, that's about 18, 20 foot pounds right there. <laughs> I saw it hit 20 per second. Okay, and then let's, uh, we're almost Before done. Before you put the drain plug in, like I mentioned, make sure it's got the sealing washer in there, okay? That's what it says. Uh, or put a new one, right, if, you if you're okay. replacing it. So we're gonna go and uh, put our engine oil in, all right, now that the, the drain plug is nice and sealed. I'm going to use a, uh, a freaking um, a funnel, okay? We're going to use a funnel so Hayes right, so make it So while mess, you're okay. filling it up, 
make sure you're looking at the little window, all right? And then your 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 goal is to get the fluid between the two lines, all right? That's probably as close to the top as possible, but you want it to be between the two lines, all right? Here we go. Okay, buddy, you're gonna get some fresh oil in you. About 0.8 liters, okay, or 0.8 quarts. Okay, I can see it through the window now. All right. Zoom okay, in a little bit. We're just watching. Okay, it's at like the bottom hash mark. Yeah, we need two, two bottles. Oh, there we go. Okay, so so now it's about a quarter way up. Well, it's almost there. And now it's three quarters. We'll just get a little bit more up in there. Just make sure it's full. So when you start it, you know. bit more oh okay I think we're good. teeny tiny bit okay all right cool okay I know you guys can not see the window but here it is okay there it is so as you can see it's a little bit over full I think that's okay I may have put a little too much <laughs> it's okay all right as long as it's between the lines, it's sort of, sort of like a little bit over the lines. <laughs> and when you start it, it's probably going to go through everything anyway, so. Uh, okay. Okay, so now it says to put the oil cap back in. Okay, that's what we'll do. Let's put the funnel away. I cleaned the cap beforehand. All right, so make sure you have this sealing O-ring here still in there. All right, make sure it's either on the cap or, or in there, okay? And yeah, maybe I want to clean that up a little bit, too. Try not to get any dirt on the edge. <laughs> Yeah, we should probably we probably should have cleaned that before, you know. Okay, put this cap back in. Okay, and then it says to check the oil level, but we already did it. Okay, so it's it's just a teeny tiny bit full. All right. Um, so and then we're gonna go ahead and fire okay, it up. Okay, so it says to make sure uh, to make sure and check for leaks. Okay. So what we're going to do to check for leaks is we're going to fire the bike up. We know it's got oil in it. Uh, and the, all the plugs are in there. We're going to go ahead and fire it up. Okay. I'm going to run it for about a minute. Maybe let it sit for a minute. And then, uh, and then we'll check for leaks and we'll check the oil level again. Okay. Or you can even check for leaks while it's running. How about that? <laughs> Let's do that. All right, really the only place it's gonna leak is for the drain plug. All right, so we'll go check out the drain plug. Okay, there it is. It doesn't look like it's leaking at all. And I think we're good. All right. Okay, I just turned it off and then uh, we'll wait a minute to let the oil settle a little bit and then we'll check the oil level. Okay, it's been about a minute and there's where the oil's at. All right, it's just sitting just below the full mark. Okay, the, the upper mark. So that is perfect, okay? If you remember when I fired it, before we fired it up, it was above the line, okay? So yeah, it looks like the oil's dirty again. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. All right, so there you go. All right, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it was educational for, for you know, those people that are wondering how to change the oil on their Honda Super Cub C125. That's how you do it, all right? Um, I did it pretty much by the book, all right? The only thing I did not do is I didn't change the ceiling washer, okay? I don't typically change those, all right? Um, you can inspect it to see if it's damaged at all, you know, or if it's leaking, all right? Um, in this case, it wasn't leaking, all right? So if it looks like it's leaking, then maybe you want to change it, okay? <laughs> I was going to say, all right? Um, so there was a kind of step that was in the book that wasn't there is I, I cleaned the, um, the magnetic uh, drain plug, all right? So this bike has a magnetic drain plug. I don't know if that's stock, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, maybe the previous owner put it on there. I think that's a good idea, okay? Um, good job on Honda if, they, if that was stock, all right? It didn't look stock, <laughs> to tell you the truth, okay? But it looked like it belonged there, all right? So, so I made sure and cleaned that pretty good. Um, that's kind of like uh, your oil filter, okay? <laughs> okay. 
All right, yeah. So, and then we use the, the Lucas oil. Where's that guy? All right, I use pretty much the whole bottle, almost. There's just a teeny tiny little bit. I filled it up to where it was just a little bit above the full line. And then I fired it up and I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's just right at the, the full line, all right? So now I got a teeny tiny bit of oil left for top off oil, okay? If it ever needs to be topped off. Um, in the 3,600 3, miles that, I, that this bike rode from the last time uh, it had an oil change, it did not lose a drop of oil, okay? So yeah, <laughs> okay? Hopefully it stays like that is what I'm gonna say, all right? Um, I use synthetic oil. It's, you know, it uses less than a quart of oil. Why not? You know, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a little expensive, but you only got to buy one bottle, okay? And and this that little engine, it works hard. So you, I, I got to feed it some premium oil, I was going to say, okay? All right. So thanks for watching. I hope that was educational. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Here's my guy. That's how to change the oil on your Honda C125 Super Cub. Also, make sure you properly dispose of your oil after, okay? It's, I know it's a no-brainer, but, you know. Don't go dumping it in any storm drains or anything or putting it in a trash can or something. Yeah, take care of the environment. <laughs>